ergonomics. What is it and what's the goal? So ergonomics, the word, literally means the study of work. Um, so ergonomics can be completed in a single user station or multi-user station. The main thing we look for with ergonomics is adjustability. And the goal of ergonomics is setting up a worker in their work environment in the best and safest positions to minimize injury and musculoskeletal discomfort. So general rules for ergonomics when you're in sitting is you basically want everything as straight as possible and as neutral as possible, meaning you want your back straight and supported, your knees straight out from your hips, and your feet flat and supported on the floor. The biggest thing that I've noticed in the hospital as a problem is that people aren't supporting their forearms while they're working. So their arms are out straight and that causes a lot of neck and shoulder pain and or carpal tunnel syndrome. You want to definitely make sure your forearms are supported whether it's on your armrests or on the work surface that you're working with. You also want your wrists as neutral as possible and you want your monitor at a height that allows your neck to so usually when I complete an ergonomic assessment with someone, I start by adjusting their chair because in theory, that's the most adjustable part. So th this is a common chair that we have in multiple places throughout the hospital. So it's a good example for our video. So the first thing that I look at is the height of the workstation with the height of the chair. So we want your forearms to be supported while you're working, like we talked about before. This is. Amy. Amy's going to scoot into her workstation here and we're going to look at the height of her forearms. So I don't know if you can notice on the video, but she kind of went like this to get her arms up on the desk. So that indicates to me that the desk is higher than we want it to be and or the chair is lower than we want it to be. So obviously this is a fixed workstation, so we have to adjust the height of the chair. So this chair has a, two knobs on this side and then there's a knob on the other side. So Amy, I'll let you do it since you're sitting okay. in a chair. We're going to use this front knob and I'm going to have you stand up just a little bit so that the height of your chair goes up. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to have you scoot in again for me. Oh, you're good for an example because we moved it up a little bit too high now. <laughs> so we're going to go down just a little bit, about halfway between. Perfect. So do you feel like that's a comfortable height for your elbows? Yes. Okay. So the main thing we look for is you don't want to feel like you're reaching down to support your arms, but you also don't want to shrug up because both are strenuous on your shoulders. So once we figure out the height for your forearms, then we can adjust the rest of the chair. So the next thing that I look at is the base of this chair. So one of the things I like about this chair is the, the base of it actually slides forwards and backwards. So how we test the appropriate width or depth is if you are sitting with your feet on the floor, yep, you want to see how many of your fingers you can fit between the back crease of your knee and the front of the chair. All four. All four. Okay, so this is too narrow of a chair for you. So I'm going to have you stand up for me, please. So to adjust this, there's the second knob on this side, so the one that's further back. You're going to lift that knob and then slide the seat forward. So let's try that. Two. Perfect. So ideal is two to three of your fingers but in that area. So that's a much better fit for you. Do you feel like your legs are more supported there? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So the other thing that I look at while I'm adjusting the bottom of the chair is that your, your knees are st straight out from your hips. Do you feel like you're pretty straight there? Um, no. Okay, so I would agree. I feel like her knees are a little bit low. <laughs> and that would also lead me to believe that her feet aren't actually very well supported on the floor. She's just kind of reaching her feet to yep. the floor. So um, we actually have a footrest under here, so that is perfect. Can so, pull it out? yeah, if you could pull it out just to show. So when you're of shorter statute or your desk is too high and we have to raise the chair, um, sometimes we have to put a footrest under your feet. So if you don't mind just putting your feet up there for me to kind of show, I don't know if you can see that super well in the camera, but that puts her knees in a much better position, right? So her knees are straight out from her hips and her feet are also better supported on the floor. So it's looking for straight angles as much as possible. How's that feel, Amy? Great. Perfect. Okay. 
So we have your arms at a better height when you're at your workstation and your legs are set up. So the next thing I like to look at in this chair is the back support. So if you could lean forward for me just for a second, so I can kind of show that this goes up and down on these chairs. So you want it to feel kind of like it's, it's supporting your back, but it's not pushing you forward in the chair. Does that feel okay? It feels good. Good. Do you feel like it helps you sit up straighter a little bit? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so now that we've adjusted our chair, I'll have Amy kind of scoot into your workstation a little bit. So I apologize, yeah, I have to move that. So that looks like a much better fit for Amy in this workstation. Would you agree, Amy? Yes. Okay. So the next thing, like I said, I always double check that her arms are supported in some capacity. So in this workstation with it being a corner desk, she's gonna have to use the desk itself to support her arms versus the armrests of the chair. Either one is fine, just depends on what your work environment looks like. If you did need to use the armrests of the chair, there's a button right here that you can push in and that will adjust the height. I'm gonna lower it so you can scoot in a little bit better. Okay. So the other thing to look at is when you are in that corner workstation here, you want your monitors to be at a good height so you're not looking up to see them or looking down to see them. So when you're looking straight ahead, do you see kind of the center of the screens? Yes. Okay, perfect. So it's common if you do have bifocal glasses to lower your monitors so that you can see better without having to tilt your head. So moral of the story is when we do an ergonomic assessment, we're looking for everything to be as straight as possible and as neutral as possible, meaning you want your back as straight as possible, your legs are as straight as possible, and then your arms are also as straight as possible. Um, and then you don't want to, you want to make sure to avoid any wrist extension. So you want your wrist to be as neutral as possible. So it's meaning as straight and flat as possible.